Hi, my name is Alan Chasey, Vertical Sales Manager for Dynapark Corporation. Today I'm going to talk to you about proper installation of a hollow shaft encoder. The first thing that you're going to want to do when you open the box is check and make sure that all the parts are there. As you can see, we've got all the parts laid out. Most importantly, we've got our instruction manual, wiring guidelines, the encoder itself, and all the miscellaneous hardware. Also make sure that you've got the tools required for the job set out in advance. For today's installation, we only need a couple of hex keys and a 9 16 inch wrench. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take the encoder and align the tether. In this case, this is one of the options we have for a 4.5 inch C-face motor mount application. Pay particular attention to the location of the tether point in relation to the connector, especially if you're going to be using the basket guard, because there is an alignment procedure to that. So the next step is to take the mounting hardware for the tether, which includes several washers and a couple of nylon insulating washers, which help isolate the encoder from uh, eddy currents on the motor or electrical isolation. This is a very important step to make sure that you have no metal to metal contact. Okay, so once you've made sure that you've got a clean mounting surface, motor runout is less than 3 thousandths TIR or total indicator reading, you want to go ahead and slide the encoder shaft over the motor and align the tether attaching point. You want to make sure it goes as far forward as possible, taking extreme care to make sure that the tether is not bent at an odd angle. You want to tighten the tether down first and make sure that it's secure and that provides a good solid mounting point. So the next step we take our hex key and tighten down the clamp making sure to tighten one side and then the other side to ensure we have positive shaft engagement. If your application requires it, next step will be to use to take the basket cover which fits over the C-face. And as we mentioned earlier, the location of the tether point in relation to the connector is critical here because of the alignment between the tether opening and the connector opening. So we slide it over the connector opening onto the motor C-face and adjust it to the motor hole mounting position. Once that's in place, take your bolts and install the cover. So the final step is to make the electrical connection to the encoder. Remove the encoder cap, making sure that there's no power applied to the motor. Take the appropriate mating connector, which we have hooked up to the drive, thread it into the connector, and tighten. Now, we've got a good solid installation. Make sure your hands are away from any moving parts. And go ahead and do a run test. And we can see here on the counter that the encoder is functioning correctly. We're getting no errors from the drive, so we know we've got it hooked up properly. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at www.dynapar.com. Again, my name is Alan Chasey. Thank you.